Something wicked is coming. Well, Wicked is the uh, is the prequel to The Wizard of Oz. It fills in all the gaps, th things that you may have asked yourself. You know, how how come the red slippers? What a, what a, how the the two witches got to got to meet? Um, and it's uh, it actually, as I say, fills in the gaps. It's a great story. It's a show that's running on Broadway at the moment. It's doing great business into its fifth year, and it's running in the West End. And it's the next big musical written by Stephen Schwartz, who bought his God Spell and Pippin. And um, wonderful music, great story, and um, a great night out for everybody. Wicked, the hit Broadway musical, winner of 15 major awards, including three Tonys and the Grammy. I think we found the place where we belong. So you find out how the, the two witches got to meet, you know, and they went to school together, which I didn't know, and, and, and how the Wicked Witch of the West became the Wicked Witch of the West, and how Glinda the Good became Glinda the Good, and exactly what happened with the wizard, and, and what happened with all the flying monkeys, and the animals, and, and everything else, and, and Bok, and Fiero, and how the Scarecrow came to be the Scarecrow, and, you know, um, and it, it just, it, the more you see it, the more you get from it. There's been some confusion for you see my roommate is Unusually and exceedingly peculiar and altogether quite impossible to describe Blonde I'm playing the wizard, I'm playing the wonderful Wizard of Oz, he calls himself, and uh, it's, there's, a, there's a lot of depth to him, more so than I, than I believe was in the original, you know, it's, it's not, we're off to see the wizard, the wonderful Wizard of Oz, it's, uh, there's a lot more to it, a lot more depth, and I think it's, in some ways it's a lot darker, there's a darker side to him that we didn't really know about, and so I'm, gonna, I'm relishing the fact that I'm, as an actor I can actually work on that and bring something more to the character, and I think it's quite, um, you know, it's quite interesting the way that, uh, the, the way that people will, uh, will see exactly exactly why he was the wizard and how he did get to Oz and how he was banished and all the things that go along with it and the fact that he did have all the, the monkeys but the reason the monkeys were there and then the reason that he has this fallout with, with the Wicked Witch of the West and exactly who the Wicked Witch of the West was. That's an interesting one as well. And it also says why she was green. You find out why she's green. Come along and just see a song and dance show, you know, and you want to see all the bubbles and the bits and pieces that go with it, and wonderful costumes and nice songs, you'll get that. But if you want to dig deeper into it and you want to intellectually take a look at the piece and study it, there's a, there's a wonderful depth to to the uh, to the show, which I think is um, is revealed within Wicked. Popular, I'll help you be popular. You'll hang with the right cohorts. You'll be good at sports. Know the slang you've got to know. So let's start. It's into its fifth year now on Broadway. Um, it's holding at the moment $40 million in advance, which is huge. So it's going to be there for a long time. I and mean, if you sort of figure that out, I think we did a breakdown the other day on ticket prices that even if nobody bought a ticket now, they wouldn't have to sell another ticket for another year. So it's actually pretty well sold in advance. They have a wonderful thing which they'll be doing in Australia called the lottery. So it means every day they release 10 tickets, which they've held. And um, I think it's two hours before you can actually go to the box office and put your name down. And uh, you pay still pay the price for the ticket. They are premium tickets and it's every single day and in America now, still in Broadway and in London they do the same thing. There's a, there's a line around the block for people to buy these, these lottery tickets or the chance to, buy, to be in the lottery to actually buy a ticket to the show last minute, which I think is a great idea just in case people couldn't get in. I know people that have won the lottery and have actually gone to see, uh, gone to see the show and um, yeah, I think it's got legs and, and, and it's now in, it's in the West End. Um, it's, it's in Chicago, it's touring America, it's in Japan, it's in Germany. So we're the next ones to, when everybody will converge on to Melbourne, you know, for our opening in July, um, we're the next one, next, next uh, came off the block.